Here we have another who done it, or I should say what done it. This should be an easy one for most of you guys. And I'm doing this kind of to prove a point on something. Okay, here's an air handler. I've got R jumpered to G, so the fan should come on as soon as power's on. Now I've got a, a screw into the uh, door switch, so there should be power there, but there's nothing happening. There's no light on the board. If you can see there, there isn't any light on that board. So this would probably indicate that there's no 24 volt power to the board. So let's see if we do have, well, let's see if we have 120 to the board. And let's go from there. Now, here's my 120 leads that go to the transformer, which is up here. You can't see that too well. I guess you, well, you can see it okay. Uh, the two, uh, the black and white wire coming down here. So I'm going to go ahead and check that black wire and see if I have power there. Okay, I do have power there. I'm showing 120. So if there's power there, does that mean then that my 24 volt transformer has failed? Let's check a little farther. Let's see if we can check the output of the transformer. Now I've got the leads hooked up to the output of the transformer and again I'm showing zero voltage. What's next? Well being as I've got these leads hooked up Let's see if the 24 volt side of the transformer is open. So we will go simply to ohms. Well, now that's giving me kind of a goofy reading, isn't it? Hmm. So what does that mean? Now normally, when a transformer goes out, and one of the windings of the transformer has an open in it, it's usually in the 120 volt. Sometimes there's a fuse built into the transformer on the 24 volt side, but that's not the case in this, this one. This one does not have a fuse. And there's no fuse on the board. Let's find out if the high voltage side of the transformer has continuity. Here you can see I have removed the wires, we're going to check with ohms, of course we've got to remove the wires, and I have checked across the transformer leads and I have 22 ohms, which is about right. So it looks like the primary in the transformer is okay. And we got a kind of a goofy reading on the secondary of the transformer. So, what do you think is going on here? What is the problem? A few days, we'll give you the answer.